Sell Pescador Eric. Here with the Boat HD Classic Gator Shell. I think this is a 2018 model because I'm cheap. I absolutely love this board. Incredibly stable. Um, there's been a couple times I've had to drop to a knee to get over a little bit larger weight than I'm used to, but you know, big deal. Um, I, as you see, I carry plenty of tackle with me. I don't go extremely light, and uh, it handles everything I need it to. I've gone through the surf through this. It's been great. If you start at the front, it does have a recessed handle slash cleat. You can use this to uh, dock it up, anchor it, whatever, carry it. And it's recessed, which is nice. Uh, keeps it clean and out of the way for when I need to transport it. Your paddle sheath is right up front. Now, I will tell you that your paddle can slide back and forth in this. So it's not something for you just to set your paddle and forget about it. You do need to keep an eye on it because eventually it will end up in the water. But it is nice to be able to set it in there and rest it on your shoulder while you're making a cast. Uh, you know, if you happen to paddle up on a, a, a rolling tarpon or a tailing redfish. Always keep my NRSC vest on board. Um, I will be investing in a fanny pack inflatable life jacket in the near future, but for now that's going to have to suffice. Right in the center, towards the front, you got your stash hatch. Um, I've heard people store their keys in here. Me, I store my cannabis in there so it stays dry and I can take my medicine throughout the day. Something I just figured out recently, as in when we were just launching, is there's a nice little pocket right there to keep things like jig heads. And you can still carry it because they, they fall down in that little groove. So I'm pretty excited about that because traditionally I just had them on deck and that's annoying. Clear decks prevent accidents, remember that. Back here to my fray bill, built in aerator, six gallon bucket, and it's insulated. Keeps all my shrimp fresh. Keeps them cool, shrimp like cool water. If you don't have cool water, you're gonna kill all your shrimp. You're not gonna be able to fish. Keep them cool. Towards the stern, I have Boat's Tackle Rack, or Grab Rack. They have a couple different names for them. Um, I'm able to put the Railblazer rail mount on here, Starport, to hold a Camera Boom 600. What's awesome about this is I can pivot it any way I want. Full 360 degrees. I can drop it down if I need to. So eventually, when I start catching fish from this thing, I'll be able to get footage. <clears throat> Not only that, but on the back of it, it's got two rod holders built in. It also has this nice matting, which is a hook caddy. Anything you're not using at that immediate moment, hook it in there, it'll hold it. I never go out without wearing my ankle leash. Um, I've seen what happens when people get separated from their craft, it's not pretty. Uh, so, wear your leashes, wear your PFDs, and uh, have a safe time on the water. <laughs> oh, it was just a We got Freddy towing me. Figure we get there quicker. Let's see if we can get it in the camera. Pretty blue line. <laughs> All right guys, so that's my Boat HD Classic Gator Shell 12 foot version. They also make a 10 and a half um, for the smaller people out there. Uh, I'm not quite an LP, so I opted for the 12 foot version. This particular model length goes for I think $14.99. So that's about it on my Boat HD 12. Um, make sure if you do get a paddle board, it is that gator shell material as it does last a lot longer than any of these other epoxies. Uh, I've beat this one up and you can hardly tell. This has been a great platform for fishing, diving. I try to do anything I can on the water. I've had both my fishing and diving gear on here at the same time and somehow it still surfed a wave in. I don't get it. Whatever. I'm going to continue to use this board until I beat it up or someone steals it from me. So uh, that's about it for today. Take it easy.